Today I'm coming to you with wet hair in a towel, not my usual look because we are gonna be going through my whole hair routine, my current favorite hair routine when I'm going from dirty hair to clean, bouncy, beautiful, wavy hair with lots of body, even though I have generally really fine, flat hair. I've gotten a bunch of requests to do this video over time and I always kind of put it on the back burner because I thought like Meh, most people probably don't care, but really it adds up after a while and a bunch of people have asked me and I have a lot of products that I really, really really loved I've been using for a really long time a bunch of tools and a bunch of tricks that I really want to share with you guys and really it's not that hard if you want to subscribe to my channel if you want to get more videos and vlogs from me every week you can subscribe hit the bell for notification I would really appreciate it if you did but right now we've got to let this wet hair down I just have a hair towel from I think Ulta in it I always use one of these and typically my routine is to get out of the shower put the hair towel on, do a couple things around, but not for too long because I don't wanna let my hair get too dry. So this is what my hair looks like. Um, I have brushed through it a little bit because it took a while to like set everything up and I did my makeup obviously. But right now my hair is really wet and the first product that I put in is this Oi All-in-One Milk. I've been using this for a long time now and I absolutely love it and I can't go without it. It is so amazing to detangle hair because I have the tangliest hair ever. It is such a pain to brush out. And since my hair is color treated and it's fine, it's also delicate. So I wanna do as much as I can to preserve my hair and not rip it out and break it because I've been there. There were dark times and I do not wanna go back. And this is such an awesome product. It smells good. It's also a heat protectant, which is really awesome. So I just spray this through my hair. I avoid the roots and I brush it out. And I always use a tangle teaser. I've had this for so many years like honestly I joked before I feel like I got the first tangle teaser when it came over in the Mayflower like they've been out a long time and I just love them I always go back to them I got a new one because my other one was like worn out this one has a little maraca element kind of annoying but this is really good it works really well for me and I think it's really like kind to my hair so that's why I really really love it so I've had a bunch of different hairstyles, hair colors, everything. I've tried a lot of different products and I've done a lot of different hair routines. And this one, I feel like gives me the most volume. It also saves me time and it just like saves me work. And this next step is the step that I changed that I think has made the biggest difference and it is so simple. So right now with my hair, pretty much super wet, really damp all over. I just flip my head over and blow dry it not with a brush, not with a round brush, not doing anything really special, just blow drying it upside down until it's about like 97% dry, like 99% dry, like very, very dry. So once I'm at that point of almost completely dry, I hit it with the cool shot button. On my hair dryer, I just have a button and it shoots out cold air. I feel like every hair dryer has that at this point. And I go through all of my hair with the cold air until my hair feels like noticeably cool like all of the hair is cooled down not just cooled down but like cold you know what i mean and that's what sets it that's what sets in that like upside down hair that's like troll doll volume and it helps so much and it also saves me so much time that before i was using like a round brush and like exhausting myself using this thing on like my whole hair it's just like not necessary this thing is still used just wait but there's more <laughs> feels totally cool all over I'm ready to flip Ooh. yeah so it's always a very interesting look when I flip back over lots of volume but it's not very smooth that's what my next step is for you've got to just trust me on this one I go through and I brush it out because it can get a little bit more tangly. That last little 3% that I still need to dry through my hair, I'm going in with my Revlon dryer. This thing is like a cult favorite, I think, at this point. And it is really, really good, but I would never go in and dry my full head of hair with this thing. It did come in handy when I broke my elbow. 
that was a good moment for this thing and that's when I discovered it. But now I just really like to use it to go through my hair, give me some extra smoothness, especially on the ends. I kind of like to do a bend under because I have layers and it can just get crazy. And then I also like to use it at the top of my hair to give me a little bit more volume. So now I'm gonna do that. Right now I'm grabbing my little Tangle Teaser Rat Tail Comb and I do use this for teasing later, but for right now I'm just going through and giving myself a little rough center part. And then I roughly gather my hair into two sections like this. I've got to back up so you can see the bottom of my hair. Okay, now I'm grabbing my Revlon dryer and I crank it up to the high setting, which is the hottest with the most force. And I go through the bottom half of my hair just to smooth out the layers, smooth out the ends. And then I go through it again with the cold setting on the Revlon dryer just to set that. Okay, so now I've done this side of my hair and I feel like you can actually see the difference. This side looks super smooth and sleek and it feels really soft and nice. This side, I mean, it's not horrible, but you can see this side is way, way, way smoother. And so now I'm gonna do this side. So much better, right? Now for my bangs, I do still have my really, really long side bangs, but I don't really like emphasize them with my style anymore just because they're so grown out. But I do sometimes go in with the Revlon dryer and kind of just like flip them up this way. You'll see what I mean. That was not a good description. <laughs> just gives me a little bit more volume and it smooths those out too. A lot of times I just end up putting my hair behind my ears anyway, so it doesn't matter, probably not. But now my next step, this is a little bit more important. I do three sections at the top of my head to give myself a little bit more volume. I go in with the Revlon dryer with the high setting and then again go in with a cool shot at the end to cool it down and set in the volume. I do one section here, just like a small section on this side of the part, this side of the part, and then in the back, I try to create kind of like a bump in the back. I don't really know how to describe it, but you know what I mean. It's like a semi retro kind of thing, but like it's everything to me. When I have that, when that's really like showing up in my hair, I feel like I'm having a good hair day. So that's what we're focused on right now. All right, so now my hair is completely dry and it's really smooth. It's got a little bit of volume and honestly, like I'm happy with this hair. A lot of times this is where I stop in my routine, but today I wanna show you like the full thing from like dirty hair to wavy hair, like everything, everything. But of course I don't always have all the time in the world or the motivation to do all of these steps in one moment. So a lot of times when I wash my hair and I only wash my hair like twice a week, I'll do straight hair one day and then the next day if I want waves, I'll do the waves. But today I just wanted to show you everything. This is when I have all the time in the world and I wanna go from dirty hair to waves and bouncy gorgeousness. So that's what we're doing just to clarify. I don't do this like every day or multiple times per week. This is like something I do it and then I try to make it last for like three to four days. Do not do all of these things to your hair every day. That would be a waste of life. I don't think I even need to say that but I said it. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the next step. This is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. It is really good, but it's also really expensive. It is really, really amazing though. I can understand why they charge that much because it just does more than any other texturizing spray I've ever used in the past. And I have really fine hair, so I need all the help I can get. But I will say, I found one recently that I also really like. And this one is a much better price point. It's the Amika Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray. I like this one too, but this one definitely is my absolute favorite and I would absolutely recommend it to anyone. So I shake this up. Oh my gosh, I don't have very much left. <laughs> For this, I grab basically the same sections that I did with the Revlon dryer to get volume. I shake it up and I add a little texture spray. 
And then I go in with my teasing comb and I tease, not too much, just enough. And that's up to you. If you don't wanna tease, that's totally fine. But I'm a Texas girl and old habits die hard. Can you see what I'm doing? It is not pretty. And that just gives me a little bit more oomph in that back section that I love so much. And now I just go to the sides. And I really, really need to get my roots done. This is probably not the best time to do this video. Okay, so now that I'm done teasing, I'm gonna put it up, which feels so backwards. Like probably if I had seen this video that I'm making now, like, I don't know, two years ago, I'd be like, you are crazy. That's never gonna work on my hair because if I put my hair up, I will get a crease in my hair and it's gonna look so bad. Like, why did I just smooth my hair out and then I'm gonna put it up? Like, no, thank you. But I promise it works. It sets the volume in my hair like nobody's business. And typically in my usual routine, I would not have makeup on right now. I'd put my hair up and go do my makeup and that's when my hair sets. And I put it up kind of like, I've compared it before to like the Looney Tunes grandma, like just a little soft bun on the top of your head. But I also really like to incorporate a little snooky poof right here to get a little volume in the bang area. And to hold my hair up without getting any creases, I like to use these little claw clips. I have so many of these and I'm like, I feel like I'm talking about them all the time because they help me so much. And then to put my hair up in the bun, I usually flip it over because I do really want it to remain smooth even though it's going up and I just very lightly twist it like this, turn it around, just keep it really loosey goosey. It does not have to look cute. It's just keeping your hair in that vertical position. And then I use another little tiny clip and this is the look. Now you're done. Not too cute, I understand, but it's okay because you really only leave it in for however much time you have available, like however long it takes you to do your makeup or whatever you need to do around your house, get dressed, I don't know, do whatever you need to do. I think what I'm about to do is go call my friend, probably gonna take like 30 minutes to an hour. This step in the process is definitely not like a very calculated thing. Like I don't think like, oh, if I don't put my hair up for at least 18 minutes, then it won't have the volume. Like I just use whatever time I have and do whatever I need to do. And I will be back and I'll show you what that looks like and how I get my waves and prolong my volume. All right, I'm back. And as you can see, my hair looks different. I was just playing with Luna and running around and that definitely did not help my little granny bun and it's like falling down, not very slowly, actually pretty quickly. And my phone call definitely lasted a lot longer than I thought, which I'm cool with because it just gives my hair even more time to set. So let's take this down and we can get the waves going. Here we are. See, it's kind of crazy. It's still straight. I always thought that if I curled my hair up and put it in a bun, it would make my hair like more curly. It would put kinks in it and stuff, but really it just makes it even more smooth, which is amazing. I don't know how it took me this long to figure this out, but it is a great trick that I swear by now. So let's get our part. All right, do you see that? So some of the teasing from earlier is definitely there and part of what you're seeing is the teasing, but most of that volume was not there before and it looks good and that's definitely not my hair's natural state. That bun, it just changes the game for me. It looks really stupid for a while, but it's totally worth it because this volume really lasts for me. Okay, so my next step is putting in the waves. And what I do is section off my hair. I don't like to make it super complicated at all. And I used to think that sectioning off your hair was just over complicating things. But now I feel like it gives you a different wave pattern. And I figured out that I just really like the waves that I get whenever I section off my hair. And I only do three sections, it's not a big deal. And the curling iron I really love to use to get my waves lately is the one inch T3 curling iron. I don't remember the exact name for it, but I'll put all of the names and links to everything, all the products, all the tools, everything I'm mentioning in the description if you're curious. So for the longest time, I just used wands exclusively and then I got this curling iron and wanted to try it out and I still use it as if it is a wand. That might be counterproductive to you, I don't know, but I just really, really like it. I've gone back to my wand since and I still prefer this one, just using it as a wand. So I take a small section and I leave the clip open and I wrap the hair around. And I try to keep the hair as straight as I can on the barrel and try not to twist it. And I don't leave it on for very long at all. Pull it down like this. 
This one is really springy. They usually don't come out that springy, but I think it's because I was talking and I was distracted. So instead of just explaining everything I'm doing while I'm doing it, I'm just gonna show you. Don't worry, the whole head is not gonna come out like this. Don't panic. And the next section is actually a pretty big section. I'm not very strict about sectioning at all. I just grab a chunk of hair basically, pull it out, put the parts I've already done back behind. When I'm working on my sections, I usually like to grab from the back first and work my way forward just so I don't get confused and everything stays really like organized. I usually just curl my hair away from my face, let it go. It's just, it's not that complicated. I feel like sometimes people overcomplicate it and then it just becomes an annoying process. I just try to get it done as fast as I possibly can. All right, now we are in full curly sue mode. I let my hair cool down completely. And this is not its final form. I think it's pretty. I used to totally go for this look, but now I really like to brush it out. And before I brush it out, I go in with a little bit more texture spray. And sometimes I even flip over. That's what we're gonna do. You're not gonna be able to see me, but just trust, I'm flipping over. I just wait a second, flip it back. Woo! This stuff just helps so much. I cannot stress that enough. And I just add through in sections. And the beauty of it is you don't have to keep using it every day if you wanna prolong this style, which I would definitely suggest it. So now I definitely have a whole lot more volume and now I'm just gonna go in with my brush and gently go through my hair. flip over again and just kind of go through it with your fingers like this. I'm sorry you can't see me. <laughs> flip back, really like flipping the hair. That's like the biggest magic in this whole hair routine. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just wonderful. You see, it makes such a big difference. I just feel like these are like the soft, beautiful, big, like almost like a, like a 90s supermodel, like or maybe like a Brooke Shield, just like soft and voluminous and just like big and beautiful. <laughs> like the big Texas hair, it just, it just will not die. I will always love it. The other thing that I really love to do to get a little shape in the front is to add some texture spray, just like right here, right at where my side bangs are and just let the force of the spray, like spray it back like that. And that gives it a little bit more form. It's kind of like a little bit of a 70s look. I don't know if you love that as much as I do, but for me, that's like the most satisfying part of the whole hair routine. This is the finished look. This is the everyday hair, but full transparency, I do have to say, typically when you see me wearing this hair, especially if it's like a sit down video and I look like I tried on my hair a little bit, my secret weapon, is this. A lot of people always ask me if I have extensions because my hair is really long, especially compared to what it used to be. And it looks a lot thicker because my hair used to be really, really damaged. But my secret for a little bit more thickness because I do have fine hair is this. It is one weft of seamless extensions. I got these from Foxy Locks and I just have this one piece that has four clips and that's all I use. Since I got my last trim, I think this is maybe like one inch longer than my natural hair, which is kind of weird because it's only one piece. So it's only like, like two little strands at the bottom that are longer than my hair. But I just really love that it adds just a little bit more volume, but it's not super uncomfortable. And I do not use this every day. It is so not an everyday thing for me. But if I'm really trying to dress up, if I'm going somewhere special, if I'm like doing the whole thing, or a lot of times when I'm shooting videos, 
I will pop this in my hair. So I'll show you what that looks like. This is the before without extensions and I'll show you the difference it makes. It's really <laughs> not that much and I don't know how worth it it is, but I'm just used to doing it. So I just part my hair off pretty much in the same place that I part my hair for like the first section of curls and then I put the clips in and this came as a part of like a whole seamless set and I had that whole set for my wedding and I cannot be bothered to wear a full set of clip-in extensions like no thank you. <laughs> I think the last time I wore all those extensions was my wedding over a year and a half ago at this point. Um, but this one little piece, I really like it and I like how it lays flat and I just brush it to kind of get it incorporated with the rest of my hair. <laughs> I definitely feel like you can tell now that I pointed it out because I have like two little weird tips on the end. But really, generally, I don't think like the average person would notice and it's not really something I'm embarrassed about anyway. I'm not trying to catfish anyone with this hair. I'm just trying to feel cute. Generally, this is my... I wouldn't say everyday hair routine, but it is my big, beautiful waves routine when I have the time to do it. I really appreciate you guys watching. Again, I'll put all the links in the description if you're curious. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed, and if you are, thank you so much. You are my people, and I love you. You can find me on social media everywhere. It's Leanne Says, and I love talking to you guys over there. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Ooh. Yeah, I'm okay. Little last <laughs> something. I did not realize this cord had the biggest knot in it ever. <laughs> I thought the cord felt really short. <laughs>